Hey everybody and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna do a really quick overview as to why I'm switching from the Z Fold 4 to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and why I'm probably gonna be taking a break from foldables for a little while. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so jumping straight in, I have my Z Fold 4 here and I'm gonna show you the main issue that I randomly started experiencing. Now I do wanna preface by noting that this video is not sponsored in any way. So I've been a Samsung user for quite some time. So we have the Z Fold 4 and I started experiencing a couple of different issues. The first, I'm using an eSIM with Google Vi and I had an issue making outbound calls randomly, but I could still receive inbound calls and get data. That could be an eSIM issue with the device itself. It could also be something with Google Fi. I never really confirmed it because I needed a new device because of the other issues I started having shortly after. So the first issue is the device would not turn on when closed but would start up just fine like you can see here when it was actually opened. The second issue that randomly started happening when I closed the device, and there are tons of different people that are gonna say you shouldn't press down here or where you should, but long story short, if we were to grab the device and gently close it, you'll see that the screen went dark and now the phone is off. So the screen or the device actually shuts down when it's closed, which doesn't make it very useful for you if you have to put it in your pocket. The second thing is I'm now holding the power button and I wanna cover a couple of things because I know people love to mention a couple of different issues. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and say is for troubleshooting, I did clear the cache partition on the device. I also reset the device and tried a couple of other things from different forums, but the main things to note were I was able to uh, clear the cache partition, uh, do a couple of different settings, uh, updating, resetting, etc., and then also resetting the entire device, none of which resolved the issue. Now, at this point in time, the device no longer turns on when it's closed at all. You'll see I'm holding the power button here with no response from the screen. Now, when I open the device, if I do the same thing, you'll see that the device will eventually start up. So there we are. But you'll see that little flicker right there when it starts to close. So long story short, the device is only usable at this point in time when it is completely open. Now, previously when I was working with this device, I actually was able to get it to turn on when it was closed and I tend to baby the devices. Again, a lot of people typically will note in the comments, you shouldn't do this, this and that. Point being, I had uh, screen protectors like the tempered glass screen protectors on this thing pretty much from day one. I even taped the back of the device when it was in its own case, just to make sure that it wouldn't get scratched up with any sand. I treated it very, very carefully. And like I said, at this point, I posted my original video about this device. I believe it was August 24th-ish of 2022. So having this issue uh, looking right now, so we are at March 27th and I've now had this S24 for a couple of days now. And I can say that I was irritated because when I went to Samsung's website, although yes, I have had the device over a year, there were no discounts or anything that I was eligible for, considering there was a pretty sizable uh, 1800 or so dollar price tag with a trade-in. So basically what I now have to do, since this device, according to Samsung's customer support team, it is eligible for trade-in, so what I'm basically gonna end up having to do now is trade this in because it turns on, it holds a charge, it meets all the criteria their support team confirmed, but the alternative is to go pay someone to fix it, which I don't wanna do if it's gonna happen again anyway. So I guess my main issue is the price of the phone and the fact that it's still, there are still foldable issues and there isn't any form of like a benefit or compensation outside of the standard trade-in credit, which is not very high. I believe for this one, I'm getting around $600. Usually at best, you may be able to get a thousand at a new product launch. So again, not really justifying getting a year and a half, if that, with the device itself, and then experiencing an issue that basically is limited specifically to folding phones. So I just wanted to post this here and see what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comment box below.